Michi Bruce, thanks for joining us. Um, I guess first question, Michi, how has it been being back, and what have you noticed in terms of the culture difference between Ohio State and South Carolina playing for Lamont? It has, <clears throat> it's been a blessing uh, coming back, being honored to be welcome back. Um, you know, since Coach Deba has taken over, uh, it's just been, uh, it's been great, you know, with these guys, seeing, being with Bruce, being with some of the other players he's brought in. Like, you could just tell the energy, the culture of, like, being at Ohio State and what it means. Uh, you can just feel it, you know, every day when you're in the weight room, when you're in the gym. Um, it's just about winning, and that's, uh, that's, where, we, that's where we headed. How, how do you think you've gelled well with Bruce and the rest of the backcourt, and how, how have you and the rest of the team taken the news of Taysen going down? Yeah, me and Bruce, I feel, will be probably one of the best backcourts in the country this year. I have to prove that. Um, that's, you know, part of the main reason I came here, uh, to be able to play with another good guard. Um, but then losing a guy like Taysen also hurts, too, uh, because we knew how much he was going to help us, our team, um, how better he's gotten. We wanted that, you know, for him. Um, so it sucks to see a guy like that deal with an injury, how deal with an ACL in high school. Um, so I know he'll recover fine. Just one more question for you. Um, obviously, your last game at South Carolina was against Oregon. Now you have the opportunity to play them again next season uh, when they join the Big Ten. How, what do you, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's definitely revenge for sure. Uh, definitely some I'm looking forward to uh, seeing that on the schedule, seeing that when they join the Big Ten. So excited for that game because uh, definitely sent me home crying. Uh, but it's revenge for everybody, and I, I feel Bruce feel the same way. So um, that's what we're looking forward to. Every team we got to play against is, is, is up in the air for them. Michi, what, what led you to leave Ohio State the first time, and then what led you to come back? Uh, the first time, I uh, just wasn't going, you know, how things uh, wanted, I guess, for everybody. Uh, it's not what I ideally wanted. I didn't want to leave. It wasn't ultimately me, uh, my decision uh, to want to leave. But uh, to be able to come back, um, it was everything. You know, like I said, being able to come play with another good guard, it was a lot of places I could have went in the country. Uh, but knowing that Bruce and what he wanted for himself and for the team um, and for this program, where I'm from, which I always wanted, uh, was to get to a tournament, which I've done before here, but to go far, um, it just, everything made sense. Um, and we were able to get on the same page uh, with Coach. Um, and, you know, we feel like he put together a good roster for us to go far. Um, but like I said, you know, that was then, you know, this is now. Um, and I'm just excited for, you know, what, what's ahead. Bruce, what was it like for you when he started thinking about coming to Ohio State? How familiar were you with his game? And, and how do you think you guys complement each other? Um, to be honest, I really don't read into, like, Twitter about somebody coming here or not. I just, they're going to come in, they're going to come in, they're going to stay committed. They're going to be on the Ohio State Instagram page. So when I found out that he was coming here, I just, like, um, from from losing Roddy um, to another having a good guard next to me. Because when I was here, he was my host. When I, on, my, on my visit here, so it's crazy how everything comes full circle. But I'm very excited this year to play with them, uh, to go through the season and win big time games. I, for Bruce, from your perspective, what is, um, I mean, we kind of got Michi's perspective on it, but what, what do you think this backcourt team can be and can accomplish for the team this year? I feel like we can accomplish anything we put our mind to. Um, I believe that we put in the work each and every day from the help from our coaches, our teammates, even Buckeye Nation that each and every day we just come here and install the Ohio State standard. I feel like the last two years I've been here, I haven't, haven't been there, just being completely honest. I feel like we can, we got the pieces in the um, great, great team, great coaches around us that to make those our dreams and you know, big, you know, big time runs in the tournament to make those happen. We were just talking to Coach Diebler, and obviously he said, you know, roles aren't quite defined yet at this point in the off season. But both of you play point guard in the past. Is there any feeling of who might play the point and who might play off this year? Nah, I mean, I would say it's going to be times where Bruce going to be on the ball a lot when he's cooking, doing his thing, making plays. Uh, he's a great playmaker, one of the best assist leaders in the Big Ten. So he obviously be on the ball a lot. But if you watch him play at South Carolina, I was able to play off the ball too. So it'd be times where I'm on the ball, he's off the ball. Um, that's that's the point of having good guards. You know, we're trying to show that you want to, we both want to play professional one day. And it's, we're not going to only be the only point guards on the court. So we got to be able to play off the ball on the ball. And I feel like, you know, it's going to show how well we can do that together. Bruce, you, uh, you mentioned how Michi hosted you for that visit. Do you, what do you remember from that visit? And what's it like to kind of just be sitting next to the guy that years ago, I mean, is it full circle for you? Yeah, um, it was crazy because it was bad. 
it was bad at first because that one Ohio State lost to Oregon. So that was fun. So, so that was my first like really college football <laughs> game. They really lost to Oregon. But at the end, after that, just going to the door and being with um, Eugene Brown and Zach Key, just being around the team, just understanding what was Ohio State. And but before I even came, I was committed already. So, but it's crazy how everything come full circle and just and just ready now just to get out there and play and just win big games. You mentioned Roddy leaving. You're the only one left from your class. What does that feel like, first of all? And secondly, what drove you to return to Ohio State? Uh, it's crazy because those are the guys you come in with. You know what I'm saying? They've been through the, the good and the good, bad, and the ugly. But now I'm just, I still keep in contact with them guys because those, those guys are going to be with me forever. But now being the only one here, just I still, like, for myself, I got to prove to myself each and every day that I haven't got to the goals that I wanted to be here at Ohio State. Um, Deeble was a big reason why I stayed. And seeing the pieces and having, me having belief in him that we're going to turn these things around. Because I feel like it was so much, I, I got so much to prove to myself and to Buckeye Nation that we, we got, we're got a top program in the country. And I just really want to show everybody that uh, me, Michi, the whole team, host whole staff, that Ohio State basketball is the real deal. So that's why I came back. And then uh, Michi, same question I asked. Jake, about you, just personally, what do you feel is most different from the last time you were here for, for you individually? Uh, everything, a lot, a lot has changed. I've changed, I say on the court uh, tremendously, my, my play, um, what I, you know, what I've shown I can do. Um, but like Coach Deber said, I'm still the same person. Like I was here when I was here, I was a part of two, two teams that went to the tournament that taught me how to win. Um, and that's what I kind of took to South Carolina. That first year was kind of bad, uh, but the second year I figured it out, went through some things uh, through the summer, learned some things, and was able to turn it around um, and win. And uh, I said that's the same for real. Like that's why I came back to so win. Same thing Bruce talked about. Like I want to do something that ain't been done here in a couple years, uh, and that's not just to win the tournament, but to win it. You know, I, that's the goal. Like just to make history, and that's why we came back, and that's that's our that's our our purpose. Bruce, this offseason, what have you put your focus on in terms of improvements and, and areas in your game that you want to take the next step? Uh, me being um, better, um, being better de uh, defensive player on the ball. Uh, last year, I was mostly guarding shooters, and Roddy mostly going on the ball on the ball. Last year, now, now uh, I see on the team that I have to able to do both and be more efficient this year, and and learn how to um, close games as a leader, using my voice and also on the court. I feel like there's a lot of ways that we lost last year, a lot of close games that we was up like a lot. And at come to the end, we lose the game, for example, like Penn State or Indiana. Certain, certain games that we had the game definitely in the bag with 10 minutes left that we um, slowly um, uh, messed up on. But at the end of the Big Ten regular season, it can really tell the difference in your seeding if you can get to the tournament or not, stuff like that. So me understanding as a three-year guy that understand that every game matters and how to close the game, how to finish the game, and helping others around me. And glad to have another um, veteran guard meet you around me so we can even even be more vocal than, than the coaches don't even have to say anything. So I feel like those things, those three things really have been, been on my mind. I've been working on each and every day. And Coach Diebler, I don't know if you guys had walked in yet, was talking about the, the vets coming back um, the last few days, the, the NBA guys and even some older guys. What was it like just to work with those guys, um, especially the guys that are still in the NBA, kind of get coaching from guys that aren't coaches um, and just be around those guys those last several days? That, I mean, that's the goal. Let's go to get to the league. Like, so you're gonna um, soak up all the information that you're gonna um, th that you're gonna receive from them. You're gonna ask questions because that's the goal. That's the dream since, since little kids to get to the highest level uh, of playing basketball. So uh, them um, just coaching us, um, playing against them um, was very good for us, especially as a team just learning that it, it really is levels to it. You know what I'm saying? But we still competed at the end of the day. So so we, I feel like us as a team that like we compete, even though. Um, we, we missing some players. I feel like I feel like we got a great chance of being good this year. Um, Michi, you moved away from your home state, completely changed probably everything that you thought mm -hmm. about what your life was going to be. What did you learn about yourself in all of that that you're ready to bring back here? Man, I learned a lot. Uh, <clears throat> while I was gone. Uh, I really matured. I went with my dog, me and him both was out there alone. Uh, but, you know, how much basketball didn't really define me as a person. You know, I was out there able to do so much more 
and just play basketball, but also just being able to lock in on that and um, have fun with the game. Um, and I just learned that, like, you know, that I'm a good character guy. Like, I'm not, you know, with media, what, you know, they portray me probably when I was here. Um, and that, you know, I'm a hard worker and I'm focused and, you know, just so much more. And uh, that's what I wanted to prove, uh, that I'm a winner. Um, and I feel like I proved that, but I want to do it here. And I want to do it with, you know, him and all of you and everybody, you know, to see. So um, that's why I feel like I show myself and I'm, you know, here to be, you know, able to show that. Um, for, for, for both of you, uh, Michi, if you would go first, uh, there's a young guy who just showed up, uh, John Mobley Jr., and he's got a lot of hype around him. And just what, what has his game been like and what's his demeanor been like and how have you guys taken him as veterans under your wing, I guess? It's, if I could get both of you to talk a little bit about him, that'd be great. Yeah, I love John. Kind of remind me of me a little bit. Like, he come, he takes shots, he's not afraid. Um, he's a great shooter. He's a hard worker. He listens um, and he competes too. You know, it was I think it was the day for one of the first days in practice. I was chirping at him. You know, seeing how he was. You know, respond. He chirped back, hit a three like next play. Um, it just shows you, you know, the type of players Deeper brought, Coach Deeper brought in, um, and how we're going to compete. So I love John. I feel like his future is very bright. With what he can do here. Bruce, what are your thoughts on him? Uh, he just he just competes at a very high level. You know what I'm saying? He want to win. You can see it. Um, you have a crazy work ethic. Make make big shots, um, especially from three. Know how to play, make. So him just understanding, just getting his body right, and just uh, growing, growing through the season and realizing like what's his role going to be this year. You know, what I'm saying it's going to be different, but because he got, he have a he have a super bright bright future if he stay consistent with what he's doing right now. I feel like he's going to be a great player and make anything he can dream dream of here at Ohio State. Oh uh, yeah, Bruce. I guess you kind of touched on it before, but um, what what do you like about Michi's game when he came, like, just coming here, and, and how do you maybe how do you guys like complement each other on on the court? Uh, he's a he's a uh, explosive scorer. He can score real fast and score and score explosively. Like he can literally go on a seven on run, eight on run on, on his own. And he's a, a, a he's an underrated playmaker. I feel like you know what I'm saying because um, a lot of people see him as just somebody that can just just really just score. But I feel like his playmaking and his voice is two things that go uh, very underrated. Also, um, learning how to um, be a better on ball defender. I mean, I, I literally take. Um, something from everybody from the team because nobody's perfect at the end of the day. So I'm still trying to learn. I learned from him because he's still he older than me and just learned that what he can do on, on off the ball for I think could be very helpful for, for me and for the team. Yeah, then similar to Pat's question before um, with Vet, Vet Week, uh, is there like one person, one player that came back that you especially like uh, had a relationship with or molded with? Like, was there anyone that like stood out to you that helped you out the most? Uh, this weekend, really, 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 all of them helped. I don't, they were so invested. It's just great to see a bunch of guys that play here that's so invested back into their program. I feel like a lot of programs around the country are not not really like that, especially like having like more than like 40, 50 guys in the gym that, that wore that um, high state across the chest. So it, it, was, it was such a blessing for them just to speak great words and ones in the pros or overseas that just to, just to tell us how to play Ohio State basketball and, and put them back on the mount. That Bruce, how was it like playing against Bryce again? <laughs> uh, I mean, it was it's was crazy, yo, cause we were the same AU team. My set on um, seventeen U, and freshman year he had a great year. Um, had a crazy, really crazy year as a freshman, and I seen him in, in the league. It just it's a blessing, yo, to him to live out his dream. And somebody that witnessed him put in work. Not nonstop just to get the way out. It was just it was just fun, especially seeing him, seeing him back and spending time with him, just talking to him, just make sure he um, mentally, physically, like just living good you know, on a day to day basis. So I'm just glad to see one of my one of my one of my great teammates. Um, I'm back home again. In being the youngest, or the, excuse me, the most recent Ohio State player to go to the draft and uh, being league right now. What type of advice did he say to you that might be different than you know some of the veterans like D'Lo or anyone else? Uh, say anything? 
basically just like to cherish the moment that I'm in. Uh, most guys really just transfer or or um, go, go to the league, but I feel like everybody's journey is different. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 telling he just telling me to stay in my lane. Just everything gonna pan out itself. Um, God God works in so many different ways. So it's like, so easy to look at somebody in a different lane, like, oh, he went to the league. Like, you feel like you're better than him. But at the end of the day, it's just a, it's just a blessing just to be here at a house. They just to keep working, keep grinding, and build, build something for, for my own here. And I feel like this year is going to be the year. For you. Um, going back to Andy's question, he, he, uh, you talked about uh, you, know, you being the only guy left in, the, in your class. Yeah. But now you have a team uh, assembled of a bunch of guys who are new to the program, yeah. both recruits and transfers. And this is something we haven't really seen in the new, I mean, under the new uh, transfer rules. Yeah. So how do you think you guys can prosper and gel as a full team of really all new guys together? Uh, it's definitely hard. It definitely, I wouldn't say it would be easy because uh, it's a new coaching staff as well, new players, you know what I'm saying? Like, only like two, only two of the guys that uh, I've been with, been here since I was here as a freshman. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's really different. So now you're trying to mold a structure and a, and, and a, and a culture of winning, of winning everything. So that's really the main thing, just a winning, winning culture, everything. Make sure our lock is straight. Make sure that we put up the weights. I mean, it's little things that don't seem like as much, that seem like it's pointless, that they, they make an emphasis of, like, make sure we win the day each and every day. Make sure we get 1% better that for, like, for because you just never know what's going to happen. So these little uh, habits that we have and that we keep building, I feel like it will mold us to the team that we want to be in the in fall, in the in fall, in the winter, and to uh, make that run in March. So, Bruce, you've been surrounded by different leaders since you've been here, and you took on a leadership role from pretty much day one. Michi definitely comes in with some of that and has has equity here, has been here. How do you see his leadership impacting your leadership? How do you guys – sort of get the best out of each other when it comes to, to trying to lead this team? Um, to be honest, he, he made it to the tournament. I haven't, you know, just being completely honest. So he sees something different, way, way different than me because my, my, my roller coaster here at Ohio State been up and down, like, all, all, all different types of ways. But to just learn it from him because he, he been to the tournament each and every year, I, and I haven't. So I'll just take everything that I possibly can, ask questions um, that I can. Even though he's my teammate, even though like he one year, it sounds like like a challenge, but I feel like uh, as a player, just want to just learn and get better, just trying to figure out how do I – how do I help everybody else and also uh, help lead myself to, to the things that I want at Ohio State to make, make a name for myself. And, and how important is figuring that stuff out over the course of the summer where, like you said, you got a bunch of new faces and a bunch of got pieces that have to fit together. How do you do that over the course of the summer so you guys are ready to hit the fall running? Uh, you got to be connected as a team. Uh, and, it's, and that definitely takes time, especially with just new everything, new, new, new staff, new players. So you got to build a bond. So everything you do, or everything I do in a workout, or um, I live for anything, I literally try not to do it by myself. Because you got to build a, a connection where when you're on the court, when you're down at, at Indiana, you're down at um, the Team of North, and you got to look across for your teammate to be there, uh, be there for you and have your back through, through never know what's going to happen. So I feel like having that camaraderie and that chemistry is going to be very crucial for our team for the future. I bless. I just got him off like two days ago, so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs>